Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see about Doomy Max, how to set up Doomy Max and how to write the configuration of Doomy Max in org mode. First of all, what is Doomy Max? Doomy Max is a distribution of GNU Emacs which has the evil key bindings by default. Not only that, it has a lot of pre-installed packages, plugins and themes. It is a good way to start using Emacs. So today we are going to install Doom Emacs in a virtual machine of Void Linux. Now this guide can be followed on any Linux distribution. Wherever you have to make some changes, I will let that know in this video. So let's move to the virtual machine in which we are going to install Doom Emacs. This is the virtual machine. First, let's go over to their website. Let's go to do, let's type Doom Emacs in our search engine. So that should give the result a first GitHub page that is their website. So let's uh, scroll down here. Let's go to the prerequisites. So what we need installed before we can start using Doom Emacs. So the prerequisites are git Emacs, ripgrep, gnu find and optionally we need fd. So git so that we can git clone this uh, repository then Emacs definitely we need Emacs because Doom Emacs is just going to add uh, plugins and packages on top of gnu emacs then rip grep rip grep is nothing but it is grep written in rust and then gnu find should be found in almost all linux distribution or now let's leave this optional prerequisite. site now let's open a terminal and before we proceed to installing stuff in void linux there is uh, something peculiar about emacs void in uh, void linux emacs is packaged in different variants there is a package called as emacs simply emacs then there is a package called Emacs GTK2, then another called as Emacs GTK3 and another one Emacs X11. Now what is the difference between all these packages? The package that is simply named Emacs doesn't have a graphical user interface. So if you are installing that Emacs then you can install that Emacs and you can also install Doom Emacs on top of that but you will not be able to open Emacs outside of the terminal now that's not very ideal emacs is not an application that is supposed to be used in the terminal although there is a terminal version of emacs but it is supposed to be used as a standalone application so if you are using void linux then you should install emacs with a graphical user interface and that leaves us with three options emacs gtk2 emacs gtk3 and emacs x11 you can choose either of these three it's going to work fine i prefer using the emacs x11 there is no particular reason for that but you can use anything gtk2 is pretty old so i'll avoid that you can choose between emacs gtk3 and emacs x11 so first we have to install that in any other linux distribution you will simply install the package emacs because i do not know any other linux distribution that packages emacs in this weird way so in void linux i am going to install emacs x11 in any other linux distribution you will simply install emacs and that's going to be fine so let's do the installation sudo xbps dash install emacs x11 and we are going to install ripgrep i think maybe ripgrep is already installed but it doesn't matter now you Everybody in your system, you should not run xbps dash install. That should be re replaced with the package manager of your particular system. If you are using Arch Linux or Arch Linux based distributions, then you will use sudo pacman minus capital S, then emacs and ripgrep. If you are using Ubuntu or Debian based Linux distributions, then you will type sudo apt install uh, emacs and ripgrep. So you uh, change the package manager according to the system that you are currently in. Now let's go ahead and install those. It's asking the password. Let's give that ripgrep is already installed. No problem. Let's install Emacs. And the installation has been completed. So Emacs has been installed. Let's clear the screen. Now let's go back to their website here. Now what should we do to install? To install, we need to copy these two lines and paste it in our terminal, then click enter. You can also just uh, click a button here. Where is that? Ah, it's here. It will copy these two lines. It has copied. So let's go over to the terminal. Control Shift V to paste. What it's doing is it going to, it's going to git clone the particular repository and then it's going to do an installation. So enter and uh, first it will ask a question. 
yeah it's to generate an nwar file now this is optional you can give yes or no it's not going to affect you too much i'm going to give y for that and it's going to install some plugins it's going to take some time so i'm going to pass the video here and i'm going to join you once this part of the installation has been completed the installation is almost over there is a question asked download and install all the icons fonts yes we need that or if you know what you are doing you can uh, give no as well yes okay so the installation has been completed now we can close this terminal let's uh, open our run launcher and let's launch emacs now when i launch emacs it should open doom emacs yet it has because doom emacs is built on top of gnu emacs now you cannot open gnu emacs the only emacs that opens now is doom emacs now first we have to see about the configuration files of the doom emacs what are the files that are present that uh, will tweak your doom emacs experience so you can see here open private configuration so that will be your doom emacs configuration directory so what is the key binding space f p so space f and capital p that will open your doom emacs config file directory now where it's where is that present it's in your home directory slash dot config slash doom and we have three uh, config files we have init dot el we have config dot el and we have packages dot el so today we are going to uh, tweak these two uh, files the init dot el and config dot el so first let's open the init dot el now what is this init dot el it has all the packages that will be started when doom emacs is launched now here there is a lot of packages that are pre-built to uh, make them uh, enabled for your doom emacs what you have we have to do is you have to just delete the two semicolons in front of that so first of all we have some languages here then some completions then let's move down some uh, ui uh, um, ui changes that you can make let's uh, enable emoji plus unicode then maybe ligatures minimap neotri so an explanation about what that particular uh, package does that plugin does is given here so you can read and you can make a in a decision for yourself so let's go down now the main important things would be uh, uh, down the terminal so uh, in Ema doom emacs you you can have a terminal you can have v term that way you need not go outside doom emacs to perform tasks that that can be done in a terminal that can be opened inside of doom emacs itself so doom emacs is a primary emacs is primarily a text editor but actually it is more than that you can do pretty much anything on emacs you can open a terminal you can uh, uh, write a text obviously you can play your music emacs can be used as an irc client it can be used as a mail client it can be used as a twitter client you can even use emacs as your window manager so emacs the possibilities with emacs is limitless so let's enable this uh, terminal if you want you can enable the e shell as well this is nothing but a shell like a bash fish but it is written in e lisp that is emacs lisp i no need that let's uh, come down if you want to spell check grammar check you can enable that then we have some tools bibliography debugger let's come down to the languages pdf let's uh, enable pdf some pdf enhancements then let's come down languages so here what are the languages that you are going to be using you will enable those so if you enable that what will happen you will get some uh, colors there will be syntax highlighting etc if you enable that particular language so c if you want uh, c you can enable that then common lisp then uh, what languages do i typically use i typically don't use that many language maybe ascal because i use xmonad then if you want you can json java lisp javascript kotlin latex latex should be uh, useful if you are going to write something in emacs and you are going to convert it into a document file a word document or a pdf uh, file maybe in the future we will learn about that then lua because the awesome window manager is uh, written in the lua programming language and you, you all know that the awesome window manager is my favorite window manager the next if you are next if you are going to uh, be tweaking your next configuration file i may do that so let's enable that then python i have some programs that are written in python like the cute browser then yeah that's it 
then if you want email email clients you can enable this one if you want to enable a calendar then you can uh, enable this let's go ahead and do that emms is a music player let's enable that then irc if you want to use uh, doom emacs as your irc client you can do that then if you want to read rss news feeds in uh, doom emacs you can enable this twitter i don't use twitter then the last line is very very important this is for the doom emacs config file and if you want that config file to be a literate file then you will enable this as well now what is a literate config file a literate config file is nothing but a config file that's written in org mode so if i enable this i have to rewrite my config.el in as config org so org mode is really really fantastic i cannot cover org mode completely in this video but what we are going to do uh, when i say that it's a literal config for doom emacs we are going to write the config in org mode so in org mode we will give headings we can write everything then we will add the actual code within source code blocks and then only those blocks will be exported they will be exported to the uh, uh, target file in this case it is going to be config.el we are going to write it in config.org but it is going to export it to config.el so when we do that you will understand that so let's enable that then let's escape to get out of insert mode colon wq to write and quit but we don't do we want to quit yes let's quit colon wq to write and quit as i already told doom emacs uses the vim uh, key binding so colon wq should should write and quit so enter it's asking really exit emacs yes i want to do that now let's go over to their website again they are saying it's a good idea to add this to your path because we are we need to run this command doom sync so that all the changes that we made in init.el will take effect so first let's go ahead and add this to our path so i am using the fish shell so let's open my fish config file we can open it in emacs but i don't want to open it before doing all the configurations so vim in our in my home directory let's make this a little bit bigger okay let's let's minimize this so vim in my home directory slash dot config slash fish slash config oh my god i'm typing it very wrong config dot fish so this is my fish config file so here i should add that particular path now how do you add a path in fish i think this will be the command let's uh, create a hashtag let's type paths and fish underscore add underscore path and then we need that particular path let's copy this and paste it here control c to copy it then control shift v to paste it here yeah that's the path let's uh, create a new line there then escape out of uh, insert mode colon wq to right hand quit let's close this terminal let's open the terminal again now if i run doom sing it should work yeah it is working if this particular path the home directory slash dot config slash emacs slash bin is not in your path then this command will not work you have to type this entire path then you have to type doom sync now that's too much work so this is how you will add uh, paths to your fish shell in bash shell it will be different uh, bash shell i don't know how to do that exactly but if you do a little search you can find out how to do that so doom sync it will sync but it will say that fail to tangle any blocks from your config because we enabled literate config for doom emacs but we did not write a literate config for doom emacs so we are going to write that let's open emacs again now if i do space f capital p to open my uh, private configuration you can see that in addition to the previous three config files we have another file called as config.org that is the org file the config file where we are going to write the literate config of doom emacs so let's open that as of now it will be a empty space nothing will be there so we are going to copy things from our config.el and we are going to paste it here so space wv to make a vertical split then space ff 
space eff is to find file and we are in the uh, in our home directory slash dot config slash doom and if i open config dot el this is my config dot el so what i am going to do is i am going to type v to get into visual mode then shift g to come to the end of that file then y to copy that then i am going to move to the config dot org here which is on the right side and i am going to do p to paste that now we can close this uh, config dot el so what i am going to do is space w c to close that so you, you have to remember these key bindings you can learn them later as well so now we do not need all these things now the benefit of having an org file is you can write a lot of things to make this config file more understandable so that's what we are going to do we are going to remove all these unwanted comments so dd to clear a line so let's do that so let's uh, get into insert mode first i am going to give a title for this one let's make this a little bit uh, zoom in a little bit so that you can see it better so hashtag plus title colon then i am going to give a title doom emacs config file then i am going to write the name of the author this is not necessary but i can do that i am going to give my name although i am not writing it i am just copying it. it doesn't matter and then i am going to give an introduction so in org mode you can uh, give all these bullet points and you can give them in different levels as well so we will uh, see that in a different config file so i am going to write an introduction first this is the doom emacs config file written in org mode org mode rocks okay that should be my introduction now let's open and let's create another bullet point and the first thing is username and email okay and enter now these two lines have to be in my config file these are source code blocks the these are all commented out these are nothing just for me to read but these are source code and this have to be uh, executed so what i'll do is i'll enclose these two in source code blocks now how do i do do that first i begin the source code code block by uh, hash plus begin underscore src and the language in which doom emacs is configured is emacs dash lisp so i'm going to type that then these two lines are to be enclosed so after that line i am going to do hashtag plus end underscore src now you can see the color has changed so this will be a source code block now enter let's uh, clear out all these things these are all unnecessary things so dd 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 all these things let's come to the line that uh, that is necessary these two lines are necessary these set the font so let's uh, create a new line o to get into insert mode and move to a new line create a bullet now let's type font again begin the source code begin underscore src emacs lisp then let's say if you want you can uh, change the font size let's change it let's do it 16 weight let's change it to semi bold and then here again let's change it to 16 this is the variable pitch font now let's uh, close this end uh, this source hashtag plus end underscore src so this is another source code block now anything outside the source code block will not be executed so let's come down let's delete all these things whatever we don't need we are going to delete again here is the line that we need doom theme so we are creating a bullet point then i am typing theme open a source code block begin underscore src emacs lisp again after this line hashtag plus begin under sorry not begin oh my god something happened to me end underscore src now doom emacs provides a lot of themes if you want to know what are the themes that are provided then you will do space ht i think that's right yeah 
you have a lot of themes if you select that theme it will apply that theme as well you can change them in the configuration file so that they get enabled whenever you open doom emacs so i know there is a config file called as doom sorry theme called as doom dash dracula if you want you can use that you can use your own config own uh, themes as well whatever you want so doom dash dracula now that is over we don't need this line this line now this line specifies if you want to show the line number so let's create a bullet point here and let's type line numbers enter hashtag plus begin underscore src emacs lisp then after this line hashtag plus end underscore src okay so this is one now next thing we need is this one so i am going to delete these two lines o to get into insert mode move to the next line give an enter give a space so create a bullet point org directory enter hashtag plus begin underscore src emacs lisp and then after that again let's close this end underscore src now all these things we don't need so i am going to delete all these lines if you want you can uh, really read before deleting i know what is there so i delete these are the things that i need in my config file so that's it so i am going to escape i am going to colon wq to w to write we let's see if it has a tangled let's do space w v to create a vertical split and space f f to open our config.el no it has not completed so when we run the doom sync what uh, sync command that we run ran earlier what will happen this will be synced here so all these things will not be present only these source code blocks will be exported to this config.el let's uh, see that magic let's close emacs and just to exit emacs let's open a terminal and let's run doom let me zoom in doom sync enter now it has the first line is tangling your literate config so it has tangled and we enabled some packages so that those plugins those packages will be installed and i'll join you once this process has been completed so it has been uh, completed the new init.el has been loaded and the config file should also have loaded let's launch emacs and if you see the theme has changed to dracula theme you can see this uh, pink color here and the fonts are also a little bit bigger because we changed the font size as well so now there is a prompt here emoji images not available should i download them yes go ahead and do that so why enter so that should download uh, the emojis okay something was uh, in in have inhibited okay i don't know what happened let's uh, close this okay now let's uh, open uh, the config.el it's empty i don't know what is the thing i don't think maybe uh, config.org does not uh, tangle and we, we will not be able to see it in config.el maybe that's the case i don't remember but anyway the config file was changed we did not change anything to the config.el we changed everything to the config.org so that means that file is a liter literate file so if i upload my config.org to gitlab what you can do is you can read it and you can uh, get a better understanding now one more thing we can uh, do there let's do space f and uh, sorry space f and capital p let we can also add a table of contents here let's go ahead and do that let's create a bullet point table of contents so i'll type table of contents and then i'll uh, space colon toc colon enter now if i write this i should get a table of content so org mode is really fantastic now this is a very small config file let's open a bigger config file let's open my awesome config file i have a readme.org so what this does is this is uh, my awesome config file written in org mode let's open that you can see table of contents we have a lot of contents we have uh, some 
main uh, headings then we have sub headings here so it's a lengthy config file it's like 711 lines in org mode in uh, when it is uh, tangled into the rc.lua that is the default place where awesome will keep its config file it will be much less so let's have a look at this first i have a title here configuration file for the awesome window manager then the author again it's my name and then we have a property now what does this property do so when we wrote the uh, literate config file for do me max it automatically tangled it and it did not show in config.el maybe that's because uh, do me max it can recognize the files directly from config.org but when you are doing any other uh, configuration now those files will not recognize the config.org as their config file we have to write it separately in the particular file that that particular software requires us to write in for example the awesome window manager requires us, us to keep its config file as a file called as rc.lua it has to be a .lua file it cannot be a .org file it cannot be an org mode document but we can write the config file in org mode then we can tangle it to that particular location so that's what we have done it with this line so hashtag plus property then header dash args what is the argument that we are giving colon tangle so tangle where should we tangle this to my home directory slash jr slash dot config slash awesome slash rc dot lua i need it to tangle here now i can simply type rc dot lua because both these files are going to be in the uh, same directory but i did it like this you can do uh, like this or you can simply give the name of that file if it is found in the same directory now if we have an introduction of where is uh, and here you can see these are the source code blocks so let me zoom in a little bit you can see here hashtag begin underscore src and lua because we are writing this in the lua programming language when we did config.org for do emacs we wrote emacs list because that is the language in which it was supposed to be written the awesome config file is supposed to be written in the lua programming language so we have lua here so hashtag plus begin underscore a lua and s end src so all there is a lot of uh, source code blocks here and the thing is we have a table of contents here if i want to go to a particular uh, a place for example i want to go to my key bindings i can click there and it will take me to my key bindings it's really really fantastic now let me show you where it has tangled or where this uh, source codes all these source code blocks that are found within my awesome fire uh, sorry in within the org mode config with the config that i have written in org mode where are they where have they been exported so let's uh, space eff and let's go to rc.lua and here you can see this is a very clean config file so whatever i wrote in that org mode config file has been exported here no comments nothing everything it is just the source code no introduction or anything just the source code till the end it is just about 577 lines so that's the beauty of org mode now if you want to learn more about doomy max there are uh, two options that i can tell you the first one is to go to github do me max and uh, read their documentation but not everybody likes uh, reading so what you can do is the best source that i found to learn uh, emacs is distrotube dt everybody knows dt in the linux community distrotube this is his uh, channel and he has a separate playlist for emacs and most of the content that is present inside or going to be about doom emacs where is that it is called as church of emacs ah here it is the church of emacs playlist so if i click that it's going to start playing some video let's pass that okay so church of emacs it has a lot of videos it also has videos about gnu emacs but most of those videos are about doom emacs if you want to learn more you can go and watch all these videos there are like 40 videos but they are very very informative i learned most of my stuff about doom emacs by watching his video so maybe you should uh, if you are really interested in doom emacs then that is another way to learn i think this video was useful i'll try to make future videos about 
do me max so keep watching this channel subscribe to the channel if you like this video hit the like button if you didn't like it you can hit the dislike button of course if you have something to say regarding this video you have some questions you have some feedback you have the comment section where you can leave it as a comment or you can go to social media like uh, i'm on mastodon and i'm on reddit the links to those are in the description you can uh, send a message over there or there is a telegram group where you can ask your questions and send your feedback as well thank you for watching have a nice day